Hi everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want to show you how to make a 3D farmhouse inspired sign with the Cricut Maker. So I recently got a Cricut Maker. I will leave a link in the description box below to my box opening for it plus another project that I did with it. I did some labels for my fridge and today I want to show you how I made a sign that I absolutely love for our home. It has all of our special dates on it so our anniversary date and all my kids birth dates. I cut out some chipboard. I made some more vinyl and I made this really sweet sign for our living room. So just so you know I did work with Cricut Maker on my blog. They sponsored a blog post so I will leave a link to that in the description box below if you want more information and let's get started. So I used my Cricut Maker, the Cricut knife blade along with the Cricut heavy chipboard two millimeters and some painters tape as well as a standard grip mount. So Cricut Design Space is like their online design platform. I used some art for from Cricut Design Space to make this artwork. I also just used their regular font. It's free. It's the Cricut Sans font to make the dates in here. So I'll leave a link to this graphic if you want in the description box below. I did have to pay for the Hollyberry art that's featured here as well as the um, writing, the handwriting font. And all you do is just use the type tool, type all the dates in here, and then you can just resize the dates however big you want. I wanted my sign to fit on a 10 inch wide piece of art, so I just made sure that all my art was within 10 inches. And then I just use the rectangle shapes tool to make this line, and then that font that I purchased. Again, I will leave all of this in the description box as well. And then I just hid with that little eye icon on the right all of the all of the things that I did that I didn't want to cut onto chipboard and I just kept the dates. I want to cut all of these numbers onto chipboard and then I clicked make it and it shows me how it's going to look on my chipboard. So on this next screen here on Cricut Design Space, you can pick your material. So I'm picking the chipboard, the heavy chipboard to a millimeter. The cool thing about the Maker as opposed to the older Cricut machine is that everything is done right on your computer rather than on a dial on the machine. And then I made sure I had my knife blade in my Cricut Maker. Then I put my chipboard down on my mat like this and I used painter's tape to secure it onto my mat. And then you just load it up into your Cricut and press the Cricut button and it does all the work for you. Now, if you don't have a Cricut, you could find some letters on your own at a craft store, but this is just a cool way to make them exactly the size you want. And I just thought it was really neat that now with the maker, you can cut out thicker materials just like this. So I'm cutting out this chipboard. It's nice and thick. And this is how I'm going to get that 3D effect for my sign. Then I cut out the rest of the objects on my art onto just some white vinyl. So that's the holly berry mot motifs as well as my writing. So rather than making a new sign or buying a new picture frame, I'm just going to upcycle, upcycle some old art that I have. I always try to do this if I can, just so that I'm not buying new things all the time. However, you could just buy a picture frame and do exactly the same thing I'm doing here, or you could make your own sign with some plywood and a wooden frame. I'll leave a link in the description box below to a way that I do that if you want to do that, if you don't have any old art that you want to recycle. Then I'm using Rust-Oleum's chalked paint in charcoal and I'm just painting over this old artwork. This is just a sign that I bought from Michael's on discount and I'm just ready to change it up a little bit. So I thought this would be a fun way to upcycle this sign. So I'm painting the whole bottom part of the sign with the chalked paint and I'm just covering up everything. The reason I love chalk style paint is that it dries really quickly and it has a nice matte farmhouse style finish. Next I took some white paint. This was just some extra latex white paint that I had on hand and I painted all of my chipboard numbers. This took a long time. I think next time I'd probably just spray paint them. So either spray paint or leftover paint, whatever you want to use. I did have to do two coats of this paint over top of the natural chipboard color and just make sure to paint the sides and the bottom. So once these were all painted white, I cut out my vinyl pieces, so the vinyl lettering that I wanted to add to my uh, sign, and then I weeded the excess, it's called weeding, and then I cut some Cricut transfer tape in the same size as my vinyl art. And then I put the transfer tape on top of the vinyl art, and I just pushed it all down with my Cricut tool here. 
And then I did a rough layout of my sign just to make sure that everything was fitting the way I liked it and get, just to give myself a rough idea of where I wanted all of my numbers and where I wanted my vinyl art. So this isn't necessarily exactly where everything is going to go. This is just a basic uh, positioning for everything. So there's my vinyl pieces, there's my numbers. I also decided last minute to distress my numbers a little bit once they were dry. I used a sanding sponge and I sanded all the edges of my numbers to give them a little bit more of a distressed farmhouse look. So what I did first was I put that holly berry art, which I know it's a Christmas art, but I thought it looked nice all year round. I just put my transfer tape right onto the top of my art like this, and then I pulled it off and my vinyl transfer is in just the right spot. I did that for the top piece and the bottom piece as well, just to kind of be the first markers for where everything else was going to go. And then I used a clear ruler to mark where I wanted my chipboard letters to line up my chipboard numbers rather. So I just made sure that it was level on my art and then I used it as a guide to put my numbers in the spots that I wanted them to be. Then I put the rest of my vinyl decals onto the bottom of my sign. So the best days and of our lives and then that rectangular line. And then I just made sure that they were nice and firmly on my art and used my Cricut tool here and pulled all the transfer tape off just like I'm doing here. And that is it. That's how I made my 3D farmhouse inspired sign for our family with all the special dates that we celebrate. I'm really happy with how this turned out. Some of the numbers are a little bit wonky, but I think that's one of the charms of handmade. I love how this looks. I've added it to our gallery wall in our living room, and I think it adds such a really personal and lovely touch to our wall. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you would try to make a 3D farmhouse sign. If you have any more questions about the Cricut Maker or anything about the Cricut, I would love to answer them as well in the comments below. Thanks again for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more DIY and decor ideas. Bye!